This is the second video I'm going to make about this little switch panel. It seems there's a lot of interest in these panels. And most importantly, people seem to be very confused with this start button, especially how to wire it. So this is going to piggyback on my first video. This is going to focus pretty much solely on this little guy here. So this switch, you might have remembered in my first video, I told you is actually two switches. So there's this switch. And then this switch. And if you look at this one, when I push the button, hopefully you can see that um, when I'm pushing the button, see that black little piece come up? What that does is push on this little green guy, which then activates this switch here. And the way this is set up is this is screwed in here, like so. And if you look at your switch panel, you'll see that. So what I did was I just unscrewed this screw so that I could show you the two distinctive switches. And if you look at the ratings on here, well, I've got it upside down. The ratings on this thing will easily um, work without a relay for my starter um, solenoid. And I think it would work for most unless you've got just a huge draw for your starter. So the way this you want to wire this is you can see the number three and four, a hot coming in and then a hot going out to your starter solenoid. So that when the you push this switch and it pushes here, it pushes in the green one and it completes the circuit. So these are totally separate. So what I've got here is I'm going to show you how to make the light on this light up, which everyone is very wants to have light up, so I'm just turning it a quarter turn, and you can see there's the little LED right here. And what I've got is my little battery here, and I'm gonna use the lower connection. You can see the two connections, one right here, where that wire goes, and then one right here on the other side, which is gonna be my positive, so I'm going to put a wire on the positive here and hopefully I can hold all this and uh, make a video at the same time. With any luck. Mm, I'm probably going to have to do some editing here because this is not cooperating. So when we touch it to there, you can see, hopefully you can see, yeah. it's lit up and when I push it it doesn't do anything because of course the other switch is not connected so that's how you get the LED to light you simply need to provide a positive on one terminal and a ground on the other and it's a totally isolated circuit from the actual switch here uh, which is much you can see it has a much higher rating this thing is just meant to light up the LED and it is not meant to have any current across it um, so that's how you get the little LED to light up and you can see when you press there it presses into the green one and so that's the way that works so hopefully this video takes a little mystery out of this switch and how to get the LED light to turn on